Hey, everybody. Welcome to this first episode of the Half Price Concessions Podcast Sunday Series, a series of episodes that we'll be releasing on Sundays with a little bit of a more important message, if you will. We love racing, and we love talking about racing and all kinds of other things, but you come to realize what's most important in life isn't our hobbies or the earthly things that we enjoy. It's a relationship with God and the salvation provided by the sacrifice of his son, Jesus Christ. So we wanted to start putting out some episodes that focus a little more on that. This first episode is one that really hits home. There's a really wise mentor uh, that I've had the privilege to, to get to know and to stay on his property and just learn a lot of wisdom from over the years. And that's a gentleman by the name of Olin King. I always call him, everybody I know refers to him as Brother King. He's got a country house up on the hillside in Danbury, North Carolina. He used to run a, a boy's home called Second Chance Ranch and just a, an incredible godly man with just incredible wisdom. And... One of the last times I went to go see him and camp out at his, uh, at his house, he was reading these things he had written in the back of his Bible, just little isms, not, not long prophecies or anything like that, but just little isms. And This one he read one time really got to me and it stuck with me. He said, the Lord only has children, not grandchildren. The Lord only has children, not grandchildren. And I got to thinking about that. I I think about that a lot. When he said it, it just burned in my mind. And to me, that kind of serves as a reminder that our faith in Jesus and our life as a Christian, it has to be our own. A lot of us are fortunate enough to have family members, parents, grandparents, grandparents. who have faith and are Christians and, and, and do call on the Lord and do pray to him and do, um, have a relationship. And sometimes I think we can, we, we have a, we have a tendency to lump ourselves in with them. I know, I know a lot of people who, who grew up going to church and their parents had faith and then they kind of lost themselves a little bit, if you will, because they didn't have their own faith. They were kind of I guess, getting by on someone else's faith. Not in a, a, a really terrible way, but just they didn't have their own personal relationship with God. And I think that's what Brother King was meaning when he said that. was, you know, you don't get your relationship with God through somebody else. It's a personal relationship between you and the living God. I thought about Philippians chapter 2, verse 12, and it kind of, references back to this as well it says therefore my beloved as you have always obeyed so now not only as in my presence but much more in my absence work out your own salvation with fear and trembling those are the words of the apostle paul to the people of uh, philippi this was a, a letter that he had written to them while he was imprisoned and the the part that really gets me is that last part work out your own salvation with fear and trembling from Philippians 2.12. Now you might sit there and be thinking, what does that mean to work out your own salvation? Like, is it like a muscle? Like, do I have to work it out? Or is it like a job? Do I have to work at it to achieve something? I found something pretty interesting actually on this. The ancient Roman scholar Strabo, who is dated around 64 BC, he has an account of the once famous silver mines that were in Spain. He refers to them as, in which he refers to those silver mines, to the working out of the mines, using the very same word as Paul uses here. Now Strabo, he's a Roman scholar, but he he wrote in Greek. And most of the New Testament was written in Greek. So the translation is not always the cleanest, but he uses the same word in his description as Paul did. Strabo meant, of course, that the Romans were operating and getting the utmost value out of what was already secure in their in their possession. Such, it seems clear, is the apostles' meaning of work out. We are to work out the precious silver of God from our silver mine of salvation. 
So I think that's that's the best way I've seen it interpreted was to work out your own salvation means you, you can get you can go to a church service and get down on your knees in the pulpit or bow your head with a preacher or somebody that um, knows the right things to say to get you saved but in order to get things out of your salvation like the, the blessings and the just the good works it requires you to put work in it requires you to to not just get saved and then go about your merry way and go back to doing what you always do but to draw closer to God to to be in his word reading it to at the most basic principle just to seek his face just to seek God's face and how do you do that you do that by the same way you maintain any relationship it really comes down to the effort that you put in you know if I as a married man if I go out and marry my wife we go through the ceremony we exchange the rings we have the kiss okay we're married and then I don't put in the time or the effort to show her that I love her, to show her affection, to to be there for her emotionally and as a husband, like if I don't if I don't put in that effort, then it's almost like, well, why did I even get married? You know, I'm not even putting in any kind of time to strengthen this relationship and to get out the blessing get out of it the blessing that it can be you know it's the same way with our salvation you know, it's 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 a, it's a great and glorious thing to become you know you're always a child of God but to become saved to know that you know you have a place in heaven that, that you're going to walk the streets of gold after your time on earth has passed but faith but in order to draw out the blessings that can come from being saved it requires work. It requires an effort. And no two people's work are the same. It might be, um, you know, a lot of people point toward working in the church, but I think more specifically, in my opinion, it's work just working on your relationship with God, actually going and looking for Him. Faith alone is a blessing. I wrote this down. Faith alone is a blessing, but we must work to draw out the blessing that our life and work can be. We can be an incredible blessing in our lives. Um, it all starts from becoming a Christian and being saved, but there's always work to be done. It's never you're never going to be completed. Your ne- your work is never going to be completed. We should be we should be working on a daily basis up until it's time for us to go. W.A. Criswell said, work out your own salvation means to work out, not work for. This is good. This is a, a real good distinguish, uh, distinguishing thing. The idea is to progress to the finish or completed in spiritual growth and maturity. This process is what the Bible calls sanctification. It should be noted that in Philippians 2.12, it is made clear we are to be active, not passive in the process. And you know what? That's something that I think you really just have to learn over time. I think I know when I got saved, I was a kid. I was like, I think seven or eight years old at vacation Bible school at at, uh, Bethel Baptist Church. And at that age, I thought, okay, I got saved. All right, now I'm good to go. Like, there's no, I didn't understand what more was, was, was on the backside. I was just like, oh, yep, I'm good, and I didn't, um, I didn't really take an active role in seeking God um, until much later in life. And that, you know, I hate, I hate that I, I took that long to to come back around. It took a while before, and then at points in my life, God would get a hold of me. I would, I would get in a. I would get in a pattern where I would start praying again and I would start, um, you know, trying to go to church again and I would, um, you know, try to read a little scripture here and there and then I'd fall off the wagon and then I'd come back and then I'd fall off the wagon and I was just very, I was very inconsistent. Then as I got older, 
and you know I got in a good church the church that I'm still in today the River of Jesus followers up in Pelham it just became more and more clear that you know there's something to work towards every day I mean every minute there really is there's there's a chance every day to draw closer to God and there's a chance every day to to seek him and we get busy we get busy with our jobs we get busy with our hobbies we get busy with um, you know caring for people family we get we get busy with a lot of different stuff and it unfortunately it, it the easiest thing to kind of put on the back burner unfortunately I, I feel terrible saying this is a relationship with God um, other stuff just you gets in the way and you're just like well, I don't have time to do that you know I'm going to go do something else. So I think part of what spoke to me and even said I needed, I need that I wanted to start doing these podcasts was just to kind of add that in. You know, this podcast has always been about, you know, talking about racing and, and, you know, some other stuff as well and stuff that we enjoy. But I think it's very important also to put, all that in perspective that's all fine and dandy but none of that carries over to the other side Um, none of these things on earth that we enjoy and love are going to carry over to you know when my eyes shut for the final time here and and, I make my way to heaven and I meet the master none of that's going to carry over and so I think Looking back at this scripture, thinking about what the, what Brother King said about being a child of God, not a grandchild of God, um, it just helps to remind myself, serve as a reminder to myself and, and maybe to you as well that it's good to have hobbies, legal hobbies. It's good to have a, it's great to have a job and be a provider, and it's great to put in time with family. All that is is, is good stuff. It's it's great to have good Christian influences in your family, you know, and I mean in uh, in your friends as well. But what really is most important is your personal relationship with the living God, because that is everything. It is it is it is what makes you a better person. I believe I'm a firm believer that the closer you're drawn to God, the the, the better your life's going to be. Um, you're going you're gonna to begin to see God in places that he's been the whole time and maybe you just didn't recognize. Um, you'll really truly see how blessed you are, the, the many things that God has blessed you with, and it's just a better life, man. I see so many people that don't have any faith and, you know, they can be good people, they can have good times, but... I know in my heart that on the backside, when when trouble comes knocking at the door or other things happen, that I don't know what they cling to. They might cling to things that they shouldn't be clinging to. They, they are clinging to things they shouldn't be clinging to. Whereas I know if I'm in trouble, I'm clinging to God. I need to cling to him, you know, in good times as well. But... I'm clinging on to God in the times that are not good. And I know that he's there. And I know that I have a Savior that's there. So that's the whole point of this first episode. Be a child of God, not a grandchild of God. I appreciate you listening. These episodes will continue to come on Sunday mornings for download. Uh, If you're listening on a podcast app, be sure to hit the subscribe button. That way your phone or tablet or computer, wherever you're listening to this on, will automatically download the episode. If you're listening on our YouTube page, you can hit the subscribe button and hit the like button as well. Hitting the subscribe button means that it'll pop up in your uh, YouTube uh, inbox, your, your feed or whatever, whenever we put out a new episode. That way you won't miss it there as well. But I appreciate you listening. I hope that you're in a, you're in a good Bible-based, God-based church. And I just hope you have a great day. My name is Tyler Williams. And this is the Half Price Concessions Podcast.